crypto football clubs, and the rise of NFT. The advent of the one-of-a-kind NFT assets range from works called Lineal by Tyson Fury, which sold at auction for $987,000. Even the art world is embracing the crypto asset market with the work of art by Mike Winkleman, professionally known as Beeple, fetched a record-breaking $69.3 million at a Christie's online auction. It should come as no big shock that football clubs are jumping on the bandwagon. Even Messi joined in on the crypto craze with newspaper reports claiming that he gets part of his PSG fee in fan tokens. In a Reuters report, PSG said the tokens were included in his welcome package, reports estimated at 25 30 million euros. PSG said high volumes of trading in its fan tokens after reports that Messi was set to join the club which exceeded exceptions in the days preceding the arrival of the six times winner of the Ballon d'Or joining the club. Fan Tokens Some of the world's top football clubs have pocketed millions of pounds by signing up to an app that allows fans to buy cryptocurrency for involvement in minor decisions in the running of their club, as reported by the Telegraph newspaper. Clubs that have launched tokens include Everton FC, FC Barcelona, Paris Saint-Germain, Juventus, AC Milan, Atletico Madrid, Manchester City, Inter Milan, Arsenal, and many others, including the Argentina and Portugal national football teams. Even a number of leading teams from F1, NBA, eSports, and cricket. In the case of PSG, they have been able to activate a global fan base which has generated a digital revenue stream, especially with the advent of Messi joining the club. Fan tokens can be traded on exchanges like other cryptocurrencies. However, prices are prone to fluctuations and can have little connection to on-field performance. Some of the big-name club's tokens can lose their value as fluctuations in fan tokens are also at risk, just like similar declines in the broader cryptocurrency sector. But do fans feel they are just tokens? Some fans are supportive of fan tokens while others are totally dismissive about the tokens and see them as nothing more than superficial participation that adds to the already growing costs of following their teams. According to some newspaper reports, some trading platforms in this space could have up to 1 million registered users. Some supporter groups have raised concerns over users being led into risky investments without adequate information. The Younger Target Market For the most part, tokens are aimed at younger fans who drive their devotion mostly online. The low-cost model of tokens cost a few pounds each, and the more you hold, the more benefits you are reported to get. Malcolm Clark, chair of the England and Wales Football Supporters Association, said the clubs are either trying to make money from allowing fans a say in how clubs are run or they're trying to squeeze extra money out of supporters by making up inconsequential engagement polls online, he went on to say. Neither is a good look. Borussia Dortmund fans have given the club strong opposition to the fan token scheme. The club told Reuters.com that it was modifying its plans without providing further details. Pandemic Booster Shot The pandemic revenue squeeze of football clubs as games have been played with no fans has hit hard, from mid-sized European clubs to lower league clubs. 2020 hit the sports industry hard. Many professional leagues across the globe suspended their seasons and hundreds of thousands of jobs were put at risk as public sporting events across the world were cancelled. Analysis suggests that revenue in the sports industry will be under 74 billion US dollars in 2020 as a result of the crisis, almost half that of the pre-COVID-19 estimates. Larger clubs said the fan tokens have helped boost engagement with fans who are often spread across the world. Some tokens also provide access to promotions and competitions. Many clubs have said that having a way to engage with fans during lockdown was beneficial for clubs and also the fans as it helped them have a different dynamic in terms of keeping a connection with the club. NFT Sports Memorabilia NFTs, which can include digital trading cards, signed sports memorabilia, or video clips, continue to grow in popularity. As an example, Andy Murray's 2013 Wimbledon Victory NFTs had an edition size 20 which sold out for $4,999 per NFT which in total made close to 100 k with one edition being sold for close to 180000 a video NFT of NBA star LeBron James dunking a basketball recently sold for over $200,000. NFT projects in both art and gaming were both worth millions in 2020. Non-fungible tokens, or NFTs, are unique, non-transferable digital assets stored in blockchain. When purchasing one of these using a cryptocurrency, you get a digital, blockchain-backed certificate of authenticity. For this reason, they are often used to prove the ownership of digital files, including GIF, JPEG, or MP3 formats. 
Once digital files are uploaded as non-fungible tokens on blockchains, they can be offered for sale, since it would be always possible to distinguish the original file from its copy shared online. A company called Autograph has connections with Lionsgate, the film company, and Draftings. Autograph have some very wealthy names in sports connected to the successful uptake of digital collectibles. From co-founder American football legend Tom Brady and other athletes including Tiger Woods, Wayne Gretzky, Derek Jeter, Naomi Osaka, and Tony Hawk are all on the advisory board. Many are claiming digital collectibles has given the sports collectibles industry a much-needed shot of adrenaline. However, many fans still feel that actual physical items for key games are still very valuable. The tokens' prices and trading volumes have fluctuated and look like they are in decline at the moment of the publication of this video. Many are asking the question, are NFTs the next bubble? Could it be that an irrational exuberance has taken hold of the sports NFT market in the same way that tulip mania whipped up the frenzy in the Dutch tulip market which dramatically collapsed in February 1637? Clearly, sports club tokens and NFTs do have a clear defined target market which is the digital native generation, Generation Z. As it is predicted that the more high-paid jobs of the future will be aimed at the Generation Z market. Given the digital native generation's propensity to all things online, the strategy behind digital collectibles is clear to see. So the question remains, are club tokens and NFTs the next big thing? At this moment in time, maybe it's all a bit premature. Only time will tell.